Vice Chair Senator Adolfo Palacios has received several concerns from GFB firefighters about the seven uniformed personnel that are working at the department's headquarters that are still receiving the same 24-hour shift pay as the officials who are actually stationed out in the field. 24 on, 24 off, 24 on, 24 off. That is the purpose for that compensation plan and not to be applied blanketly to even people who work 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, administrative, not exposed to, to the hazards out there. The frustrated firefighters sent a letter to Palacios urging that he have acting fire chief John Salas explain why the headquarters staff are getting paid for 106 regular hours along with 14 hours overtime and 60 hours night differential. The only time that the law authorized for the compensation of 106 hours regular time bi-weekly and 14 hours overtime together are for those who are assigned to a shift, to a 24-hour shift. Definitely, if you're not out there in the fire station, then, then you're not qualified. These firefighters down there are basically there to support the mission of the fire department. Assistant Fire Chief Michael Kanko defends the compensation. These are firefighters and they're entitled to that. Now the bottom the question is, are they working those hours? Yes, they are working those hours. I feel that it is not right for us to force them in there and pay them 80 hours when these guys are basically volunteering to support the department as well as the Gulf Guam as a whole. And Kanko argues the uniformed staff at the headquarters help secure federal funds, conduct training and night inspections as well as are activated to assist with big rescue missions. Now GFD officials do confirm that this has been an issue in the previous administration that some of their firefighters have been working down at the headquarters and not working the entire 24 hours. Assistant Fire Chief now says that they are working to get a handle on the issue and ensure that every firefighter meets the full requirements. The fire chief has made it a point, and I have taken the lead role to make sure that each and every firefighter that's signed down there works their hours. Senator Palacios says he will question the acting chief about the pay during the fire chief's confirmation hearing next Monday. Palacios, meanwhile, also plans to bring the issue before the Department of Administration. As the paying authority for, for claims of that, that this is not according to law, and that the compensation is, is not authorized, essentially. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.